This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Roadbuster. The figure is part of the second wave of uh, the regular Human Alliance uh, figure sets. And I picked this one up at Our Toys in Green Hills, or if you're in Manila. Uh, and you haven't seen this one on retail yet, might as well go to Our Toys if you want to get one. Okay, as of this video, as of the time of making this video, I haven't seen this one on retail yet. So I went ahead to our toys and picked it up. Okay, um, great, great figure. I really like this figure. Uh, excuse me. Let me just get him out of this ridiculous FX France pose. Okay. All right. And he doesn't fit the camera. Excuse me. Let me just, uh, huh. okay. Let's see if we can get that right. All right. How's that? Uh, still doesn't fit. Anyway, uh, he's pretty big, actually. Um, up top is his sidekick, Sergeant Recon. I actually like this figure mold. Very nice. I give it a 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Paint apps, wonderful. There's hardly a, a quality issue I can see in it. The the whole mold, it, it's a completely new mold, obviously, but it, it really does remind me of the Human Lions Jazz in terms of articulation, somewhat in the transformation. They're about the same size, uh, with him being a little bit bigger, I think. Uh, but chunkier, bulkier, this guy. So they're, they're about the same. And... Proportionately, these, this guy's very good. Uh, there's hardly any spaces. Well, yeah, there's a few, but there's, everything's tight. Uh, there's a lot of these uh, sort of spikes going on. I don't count them as kibble because they're, they're really part of the design of, of Roadbuster and the records, but this is how Roadbuster should look like. Um, excuse me. Just see if I can focus that. And uh, if you see him with Deluxe Class... Roadbuster, you're not going to want to get this one. Um, this one is really much better. Um, and it's very difficult to blame the designers on this one because he was not in armored mode, in alt mode. This one is in armored, uh, uh, armed or weaponized mode in alt mode. So I don't know, but I really didn't like this one. And just for, and just for fun, uh, here he is with his uh, Cyberverse uh, counterpart. So very cool. This one's actually cooler than Deluxe. Okay, uh, articulation. It's got a swivel neck. Um, the head features a visor that, just like Jazz, can pop out of sight. Just like that. And, oops, excuse me. bit jumpy right now. Um, and can pop back in. Uh, back on, I think, yeah. Uh, the only problem with my head, the head that the figure got, is that it's got a not, it's a very loose spring. It's not as tight. So if you pop it back, it's, you sort of have to push it down. So but that's it. Um, what else? Uh, articulation. He's got his arms go in and out, go forward, backward. They swivel at the bicep. Um, official transformation is really like that. But I think it's more solid if you position, if you pop it back up. His elbows go up and down. Uh, wrist can go side side a little bit because of transformation. No torso articulation. It's got a ball hinge uh, hip, a uh, hinge knee, and a hinge ankle because of transformation. So very, very cool figure. Highly recommended. Very nice. Uh, weapons. He has this gun, which really doubles as an engine. Fires the... Okay. It fires the flames as a missile. Put that to the side. Um, he's got a buzz saw, chainsaw, uh, which you can also put on either hand. He has a partner, Sergeant Recon, which could any be anybody really. He's got a driver's helmet, Autobot symbol in front. The only way to attach him onto robot mode is really through these pegs right here on the windshield. He doesn't sit properly on, on the saddle. He can't hold the uh, the handlebars, so that's it. Uh, no other place to put the human ally. Maybe on the hands. There is a peg right here. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So, uh, let's get him transformed, shall we? It's uh, very tedious. That's probably the only drawback with this figure. The transformation is a little bit complex. Uh, not as annoying, but it's like transforming a leader class figure. And uh, uh, the instructions are, are a monster. Uh, uh, lots of frames. Uh, I, I got dizzy reading them, but the instructions still managed to save me. They did help me a lot in transforming the figure, so instructions were spared. No instruction murderers today. Uh, so there. So to transform him, let's get right to it. Um, first do the, the hands or the arms. Go ahead and fold out the doors just like Jazz. Fold in the, the fists and then move it out just like that. This thing just keeps sliding, popping up because, yeah because that's just what it is. Uh, it's just loose on mine because I've been, tr you know, popping it in and out because when I try to pose the figure. So just like that. Uh, go ahead and pop these outward. Go ahead and do this to the uh, shoulder logo, whatever you call that. Okay. Uh, then what you got to do is, yeah, pop these down. Pop the shoulders up. There is a peg and hole right there, which you need to pop out. Be gentle with it. Okay. Okay, just like that. Um, yeah, go ahead and pop the torso, but do the head first. Uh, fold it down and form the engine block. Go ahead and fold this piece up. Sorry I'm rushing because it's really a long process. Fold this one up. Oh, rotate these uh, bottom uh, bumper pieces out. I need more light, please. Thank you. So more light right here. And there are tabs here and here. Just be careful. And parents out there who've given these uh, uh, this particular set, or this particular figure to their kids without really, really fully understanding the repercussions of that decision, uh, please pay attention. Uh, these instructions, these how to do, these uh, transformation steps could uh, save you a lot of tears. Okay, uh, go ahead and fold the seat. And what you really need to do is um, these uh, pegs right there. They need to tab into those holes. So you got to prep it. Okay, um, just fold the. Come on now, just fold the halves of the hood right there okay fold up the uh, headlights so you can see where you're going and then just fold up the entire chest piece and tab it in it's that easy there's really no nothing complicated about that and just make sure everything's secure now you can't leave these things on here you know I thought you could uh, there's really no way to turn the armored uh, Chevy Impala into its civilian mode. That's just the way it is. Uh, so go ahead and transform it into his battle mode or stealth mode, whatever you call it. Okay. All right. Uh, so we'll just, um, okay, let's do the arms, okay. Uh, just go ahead and, come on now, fold these out and rotate out. Okay, do the same here, fold it out, and rotate out, okay. Then you can join the wheels, the wheel assembly, up front, just like that. And make sure the position is like this. Well, you can go ahead and join the seats. These will form the seats, as you can see, the peg holes that peg onto the back of the human ally. He's going to sit right there. Yes, so he's gonna sit right there. Yeah, we'll uh, might as well leave him there for now. Uh, so that's that's the front part. You're halfway done. Uh, for this uh, for this one for the legs, first thing you want to do is rotate the hip. Okay, obviously, detach the. Uh, there's a way to detach these. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay, 
there we go. All right. Then fold out the these panels. Okay. Rotate the feet or the shins, and then uh, uh, go ahead and fold up the feet. Fold down the heels to form the bumper, and fold up the um, fold up the the spoiler. Okay, um, do the same on the other side. Sorry, somebody had messaged me. Uh, okay, now uh, to get the feet transformed properly, what you need to do is it's very easy. Uh, there's a tab here, and there's a space there, and there's the toe. Now what you need to do is lock in the toe here, and then that tab locks the entire foot assembly like that. And then you, yeah, stretch it out again. No, sorry, you don't really need to tab the foot like there. Sorry, my bad. That was my problem during practice. So anyway, uh, just you just need to put the foot right there. Okay, and then fold it up. I've been teaching the wrong thing. My bad. Just like jazz, the very similar transformation of the foot. Not entirely similar, but sort of. Okay, fold it up and join the feet together. And okay. Uh, okay. Okay, and then these have tabs underneath them. You just tab them right there. Okay, and that's the rear part of the car, and you're almost done, really. Literally, this is easy now. Uh, next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and, uh, if you can, rotate this entire assembly like that. You don't have to put the figure in. I'm just being silly. Just, yeah. Go ahead and uh, fold these. These holes are going to tab onto those pegs, so make sure the pegs are aligned. Uh, there's nothing funny going on. Okay, like that. Oh, okay, and then just tab in. Oh, and the missile launchers, they just go up like that. Same with these. Just go up like that and just make sure the, they tab in tight. Okay. That's a very solid alt mode. Okay, go ahead and close this door first because we're going to put the, the figure inside that one. So, come on now. Uh, there's two tabs right there, up and down. All right. Then before, oh, I forgot to show this off. They do fold up like that in bot mode. Sorry, my bad. And then they fold down in alt mode. It doesn't really matter. Okay, and then finally you can put uh, Major, oh sorry Major, <laughs> promoted him, Sergeant Recon. Uh, it's a snug uh, uh, cockpit or driver's seat. Uh, don't really have to peg his back in, you can just make him hold the uh, steering wheel. Or, yeah, he, he will stay in place. It's, it's a very, it's a good snug cockpit or driver's seat, doesn't really, you don't really have to peg him in. Doesn't matter. You can you could if you wanted to. And then just close the door on him. Okay. Oh what am I doing? Dude. Uh, I've loosened him. Okay. Okay, there we go. And just peg it in. That and like that. Come on now. Okay. Okay. All right. And uh, yeah, you can leave it like that. And you can leave it like this. Like that. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. Excuse me. Okay. All right. The uh, buzz saw fits right here, or you can fit it. No, it fits right here better. You can have it this way. The instructions say keep it this way, but I like it this way. Um, does he roll? He should. Ah. Come on. Okay, he almost rolls very well, but 
Without the buzzsaw, will he roll? Yes, he will roll without the buzzsaw. Uh, for the, uh, the thrusters, or the gun, he stores at the back, right? That. All right. And uh, except for this buzzsaw, which fits underneath, which you've already seen, this is Human Alliance Roadbuster in his armored up and weaponized alt mode, his Chevy Impala NASCAR stock car racing weaponized alt mode. Very, very nice. I give it even a 10 out of 10 uh, in alt mode. So overall, I'd want to give it a 10 out of 10, but the transformation is just very tiring. So he gives get, gets me he gets a nine out of ten for me, but still a very good decent set. It's a great human alliance pick. Top three for me would still be Jazz, Barricade, and this one. I really had fun with this one. It's a nice display piece. Uh, for those of you in Manila, you might want to check out Art Toys for this particular figure. So there you go, folks. Really nice, very nice. Um, I hope I've helped a lot of, uh, of, of people out there transforming him back into his alt mode. If you want to know my late, latest toy purchases, please follow me on Twitter, www.twitter.com slash fxfrans. And I repeat, I get everything on retail, which includes our toys. Our toys, I count it as retail. In the Manila, retail is Toy Kingdom, Toys R Us, Roostans, Landmark, and uh, Toy... Yeah, that's about it. Toy Town, yeah, whatever. So there you go, folks. Transformers Dark of the Moon, Human Alliance, Roadbuster. Thanks for watching.